in case your PC does not meet the minimum requirements needed to upgrade to Windows 11. Kindly follow the instructions in this video tutorial. We shall not be using any softwares for this. If you look at this, they are saying that my TPM is not detected. Then they are saying that the PC has 2 GB of RAM and the required one is supposed to be 4 GB. Then they are saying that the system disk needs to be 64 GB and mine is having 48 GB. So how do we install or how do we upgrade to Windows 11? So the first step we are going to do is we are going to go to Google Chrome. Then open your Google Chrome and type the following. Download Windows 11 and hit enter. Then when you come here, look for the first website which has download Windows 11 or the official Microsoft website. Then click on download Windows 11. Then uh, scroll down. When you scroll down, look for download Windows 11 disk image ISO. Then I'm going to click here. Then I'll select multiple editions. Then I'll click download now. Then when you finish the saying, select the product language. When you're selecting the product language, make sure that you select the product language that is currently installed on your computer. So to find the product language currently installed on your computer, click the Windows button and type region. Then open the region settings. Then if you open the region settings, you can see that the product language currently installed on my computer is English United states that's the same language that you have to come and choose then i'll come here and choose english united states that step is so important please make sure you find out the region that you're currently in then i'm going to click confirm when i finish that then i'll go ahead and click download so our download has started two minutes so after the download, then we shall continue. Okay, uh, our download is done. So we're going to go and open up that file that we have downloaded. So when you open up that file, Windows 11, right click on the ISO file that you have downloaded, then click on mount. When you click on mount, the, f the Windows ISO file is going to be mounted okay then you can click open so when you open they're going to show you the files that have been unmounted in case you cannot see this you can just click on this pc then you're going to see something like this that means that you have mounted the windows 11 iso file so just have to open this then you are going to have the files so the next step you're going to click on set up when you click setup hold the shift key on your keyboard hold the shift key then right click on setup and click copy as path copy as path after right clicking copy as path click windows button then type cmd run as administrator after run as administrator then right click and paste or you can control v when you finish control v type the following command space then slash product then space server then when you finish hit enter then you click yes when you finish doing that your windows 10 is going to start preparing to upgrade to windows 11 then they're saying install windows server please do not mind about that this is windows 11 then click next when you click next, they're saying checking for updates. 
when they finish that then click accept then that's choose what to keep you can keep files and settings or you can keep personal files anything that depends on you so i'm going to click next to keep my personal files then the updates has started to take some time so i'll fast forward that okay uh, now we are ready to install so i'll click install install win windows server Okay, uh, currently you can see now our Windows 11 has finished installing or we have we have finished upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So uh, that is it. Thank you for watching our video presentation. Please you can try it out and see in case of any hurdles or any problems, comment down then I'll get back to you. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Please subscribe and hit that bell notification button for more videos.